Hey ladies, I hope like me, you are looking forward to the launch of our new seasonal expressions book. So I don't often give sneak peeks on my business page, but I did want to provide one little sneak peek at this time because I'm really excited. Hold on, let me just adjust here about the new stuff and particularly this paper pack I've been playing with. So I am going to show you how to take this six by six square of paper and make this super adorable little tea holder. Tea, the little tea packets go right there inside. It holds two and you can stack them and actually get more. But this features some of our new product. So you'll get to see that in this video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a six by six square of paper. And in fact, um, the paper you want facing out, in my case, I totally want the teacups, needs to be the one on the bottom. Then you're gonna score one and a half inches out from the center point. So I'm gonna score there and here. And I'm gonna fold those lines over. Super easy if you have a score pal or the close to my heart scoring board we used to have. Um, makes it very simple. Then you are gonna take your piece and fold it point to point back to back, just like so. All right, and at this point you can move your score pal, but hold on to the folder because it's gonna help you get a nice crisp fold with your folds. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do, and I actually find this part easier on my Versamat, is fold this down towards you and crease it at three quarters of an inch. So I'm folding right here it's three quarters of an inch from the bottom, which I lined up there. Creasing it again. Hi, Dan. And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna fold it to match. So I'm not too worried about the measurement because I just want it to match. So there, what I've done is created my little packet holder. Tea packets go in there. And you could punch a hole here and tie some ribbon. I'm actually gonna do a staple because the paper that I'm playing with today to make this cute little guy comes with these suede bows. Beautiful friendship it's called. So I'm going to take one of the suede bows and I'm going to stick it right over that staple. It adds a cute little touch. Hold on one second, I'll show it at the end. I will. Ellery made one and she wants to show you as well. So at the very end, I'll let her show you as well. So this set, Beautiful Friendship, has a coordinating stamp set that comes with a thin cut, so cute. And I have used the thin cut and stamp set, there's the stamp set, to cut out my little teapot. And I've also used one of our circle thin cuts to cut out the circle. Just makes it super easy. Now I do wanna add a sentiment, but I'm gonna add a different one from this stamp set instead of the Hey Beautiful. So these make great little gifts for people. And I'm gonna stamp thanks friend on this one. And then I'm gonna take some of our thin 3D foam tape. So similar to our regular one, except it's slightly thinner, which makes it great when you wanna layer projects and you don't want them to have too much bulk. And I'm gonna stick him on to my blue circle and simply glue my blue circle to the front of my packet holder. So that could be a great cute gift to give to people. Um, super simple to make, so simple. I'll let Ellery show you the one she made this afternoon with me. There you go. So she used some old cardstock and a stamp set that she then outlined in Sharpie marker and she made it for Lucas, her friend at school. And it's the same. So even a six-year-old can handle these. So I know you ladies can rock out some beautiful stuff. So if you are a tea lover, you are going to love this beautiful set. This is the Beautiful Friendship. And the launch party happens May 1st on my VIP group. So if you are not in my VIP group, make sure you comment below so I can make sure I add you so you're there for all the fun and prizes and all the other good stuff. All right. Have a great evening. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, Melanie. Bye, Jan.